Hey y'all, welcome to Jay's Views. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Before we jump into today's celebrity news, hit the like button and subscribe, y'all. Today's celebrity news is King Harris, y'all. Y'all know this is the son of Tiny and Tip, okay? AKA as T.I. Y'all know, you know, T.I. and Tiny, they've been in the music game for so long, you know what I mean? And now they're successful, they're raising their children, you know they're doing the they're doing the best that they can for their kids to have a successful life but it's just always that one child that want to be testing your gangster and i believe king harris is that child okay because y'all see in the recent past he has videos of himself going viral trying to be gangster trying to be like you know some hood man like some street dude okay and you know you from the suburbs you ain't no street dude you know what i mean your father might be in the streets before allegedly but now you know as people grow and change and mature you know people don't want to be in the street life no more and they especially when they have kids they're trying to give their kids that good positive life and king is that lucky child but this kid don't want that he want to be a project baby he want to be a section 8 baby he want to be in the street streets baby he want to be a welfare baby like he want to be a social assistance baby like come on so anyways anyways for the reason for my video there's a viral clip a video of the family okay it looked like they were out in atlanta you know at a football game ti was performing was opening up for the atlanta falcons and i don't know what happened but allegedly things went left and king pushed tiny and ti had to put the hands on his son king harris y'all Tap in and let's watch the video. You Well, you can't do nothing with me. Shit, you can do with me. So, what are y'all thoughts? What are y'all thoughts? Like, to be honest, I feel like there was some sort of disagreement, okay? And Tiny was just trying to talk King, you know, it's just a joke. Just relax, you know what I mean? It's just all fun and games. And, you know, King Harris, he's a street dude, allegedly. And he was standing on business and he didn't want anybody. He want people to respect him in that place, okay? He's like, no, 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 no. How you gonna let this dude clown me in front of y'all? Yeah, you can't do that. Where's you, my family? So he's already in his fields, okay? Because he got disrespected by his own people, okay? And he's supposed to be a street dude. They're supposed to look up to him, all right? Y'all let me know, am I bugging or is King Harris bugging? Because he's out there looking like a fool, embarrassing his family, okay? And this kid is not even 21 yet. He's a young bull. He's young. Like, relax. Relax, okay? So y'all let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are. Was T.I. doing what T.I. had to do? He had to step in and put the hands on his son because he was out of control, okay? So after the whole incident, King Harris took it to his Instagram and said, I don't give a F who you are. MF can't play with me and my face and not going for the, I'm a grown ass man now. I'm a mistake, say that. Don't stop making the world think you F with me when you don't, 100. What? Y'all, I just feel like King is just jealous of his little sis, Harris, Diana Harris, girl. Mm. That name was a tongue twister, but she a cutie, okay? Has been still in her since she could walk, talk, do it all, okay? And now, at just seven years old, she's already following in her footsteps of her multi-talented parents. And my auntie and mom, too. Um, I'm gonna call her HH, all right? I feel like King's just jealous of his little sister getting the fame, because y'all know, little girl has some vocals in her, okay? And she is, you know, being trained by her mom, Tiny, okay? 
And also, she got a little razzle dazzle of T.I. in her too. So this, this child is destined for greatness and King ain't liking that, okay? He wants that kind of attention because he's been trying the music, the rap game for how many years now? And it hasn't been picking up as he wants it to, okay? So I feel like he's in his feels. Now he's saying that his parents, you know, saying that he's a mistake and blah, blah, blah. Honey child, we were all mistakes, okay? You should be lucky that, you know, your mom didn't abort your ass, okay? Because, whoo, I'm telling you, I'm dealing with my own. These children nowadays are just on a different time, okay? They ain't listening, and I believe mental health is real. They be in their phones, and they be, you know, thinking that there's someone that they're not. But, you know, we got to let go and let God. But I feel like T.I. did what he can to, you know, handle, or I should say, diffuse the situation. And now this kid is in his feelings, you know, thinking that, oh, yeah, I'm a mistake. We're all mistakes, okay? Just be grateful that you have a successful family that wants to see you shine, that wants to see you do great. But no, you want to be the bad apple of the family. You want to be the bad guy. You want to bring your family down. Like, come on. If I was T.I. and Tiny, I would cut him off. I would cut him off financially. I will have... He better march his ass to McDonald's and get him a minimum wage paying job and, you know, let him feel how, it, you know, if he wants to be so street... Let him, let him feel it, okay? Because street dudes be doing street dude jobs, okay? They be doing hard labor jobs, okay? Side job. And they do the nine to five. You feel me? So they should just cut him off financially because this kid is all up in his head. He's, he, he's too much. He's too much. All right. So y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all thoughts are in regards to this whole situation. You know what I mean? It's hard out here. And social media is not making it easy on these young kids. So y'all let me know. Before I end my video, please hit the like and subscribe button to help this channel grow, y'all. Your girl's trying to be the next Wendy Williams. Better yet, the next Oprah. Until next time, bye.